Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can do basic calculations on Google Sheets. This is great if you've got a Chromebook or any computer where you've got a Gmail account, a Google account, you can use Google Sheets for free. It's a spreadsheet program alternative to Excel. So in this video, we'll be looking at how to add numbers, how to subtract numbers, how to multiply numbers, how to divide numbers, how to use the sum function, and the different ways of calculating, which will be done whilst we're discussing all of these different ways of calculating in Google Sheets. So first of all, let's have a look at how you can add numbers in Google Sheets. Here you can see I've got some numbers here and I've got some numbers here. First of all, if you wanted to quickly see how much this added up to, you could just select it all like that. And at the bottom there, you can see a sum of 20. So that shows that's 20. And if you selected all of that, it would show you it's 15. So that's a very quick way. But let's do some calculations. So there's a few different ways to do calculations on spreadsheets. If we wanted to add all of these here, we can do it anywhere. We can do it here. We can do it here. Or you could do it right under there like that. So one way you could do it is pressing equals. And then with your mouse, you could just simply click on the ones you want to add. So there's one. And then just press the plus key to add. And then click on the other one. And then press plus, click on the other cell. To press plus, click on the other cell. And there, as you can see, we've got equals C3, which is this one here. C4, C5, C6. So it's adding. You always put an equal sign when you're doing a formula. So we're doing C3, add C4, add C5, add C6. Hit return or enter and it gives you 20. That's one way of doing it. Now we did that with the mouse. You can do exactly the same formula without using the mouse by going equals C3 plus C4 plus C5. So you can type it in as well like that and you'll get 20. So that's a basic way of doing calculations. Now, another way of doing it, with just a few like this, it's perfectly fine in doing it that way, but imagine if there was lots to add up. So if you had a lot more, that would be quite time consuming. So another way of doing it is using equals and then sum, S-U-M, then open bracket like that. And then you can either left click and hold it down on C3 like that and then just drag down to what you want to add up until you get to the one where you want to stop adding and then close the brackets and do return and there we go 20 or again you could have done it equals and you could have typed it C3 to C6 oh I didn't do an equals, equals sum, open C3 to C6, like that, and then close brackets and do return like that. Or another way, exactly the same function, just showing you different ways you could have done it. You could have clicked on that first, so you got the first one, and then do a colon, and then do C6. So that's the different ways you can add up in X in, in Google Sheets, I was going to say Excel then, in Google Sheets. So let's go back to here. So I've showed you how to add numbers. That's fine. Now let's have a look at subtracting numbers. So subtracting numbers, we'll get rid of that first. Again, there's lots of different ways you can work with spreadsheets and it all depends on what you want the desired outcome to be. For example, I'm going to quickly do, first of all, there we know here, there's 20 and we know here there's 15 so if we take away 15 from 20 we should have 5 so one way you could do that you could go equals again you could do all of that and then to use a minus key subtract key there take away that's quite a big formula but it will give you the outcome of five. Or another way you could have done it, you could have done equal sum. And then you could have done that, closed. 
So you've summed this part, but then you can then do take away that if you just wanted to do one cell, for example, and hit return. Or you could do take away that, take away that, take away that. So there's no right or wrong way of doing it. If the outcome's the same, you get the same uh, formula at the end, and that's all that really matters, the same result. Or a quicker way of doing it in this particular situation would have been equal sum. And then you go like that. So that's adding all of them and then take away sum. And this time we're going to do that. So the sum doesn't mean adding, it's just a sum. It's going to sum them up. So it's going to sum them up and then it's going to take away that. And then close, hit return. Again, you get five. Now that's one way of doing it. If I was having a spreadsheet in general, I wouldn't necessarily work in that way because the most likelihood is this would be something that meant something important. Just for example, just put income. Obviously it's not because it's such low numbers. And then we could have outgoings. So you might want to know what your incomings are. So you'd always sum it at the bottom using a sum. And then sorry equals sum c3 to c6 so you'd always have that there and then you could highlight that doing a you could put it on bold there or just press ctrl b and that does the same and then you could do the same here equals sum and then just like that so them two figures you've always got there. And then if you wanted to have one, you would simply do equals that, take away that. And that's five. And I think that's, it's exactly the same, what we're, def we're getting is exactly the same results, but you're doing it in different ways. So if this is something, it's always really best to sum this here and sum that there, and then you can do any of the calculations at a later stage so that's how you can take away if it's numbers you could always just type it in as well equals five take away one hit return and there you go it gives you four but it's all you always need to put an equals if you don't put an equals and you just put five take away four it would just show you five takeaways four so if you want it to sum you need to put the equals in Okay, so that is how you subtract. So that's how to subtract numbers. Multiply numbers. To multiply numbers, it's very similar as well. So to multiply numbers, you could do equals 20. And then multiply is the asterisk key, which is that, or some people call it the star key. And then by that, hit return and it gives you the figure out 300. But again, you could do it exactly the other way if you wanted to, if you didn't have them figures there. That's why it's best to have the figures at the bottom, certainly if, it mean, if it's meaning something, like if income means something, it's best to always have it summed so you can see. So equals sum, close times, sum, this is the only thing which is annoying. I was just going to select them cells then, but as you can see, it's come up with these. It's giving you ideas of what you might want to do. So that's the only thing what can get a bit frustrating. So let's do it ourselves. So we know it's F. There we go. It's got rid of them anyway. I was just going to type them in like that. Close bracket. And it gives you exactly the same result as well there. So that's how you times. Again, you can just do equals 5 times by 2, 10. So that's how you multiply numbers in Google Sheets. And to divide numbers, it's simply, we've got 300 there. So you could do equals that, divide by, so divide is that there. I don't know what you want. So that's a forward slash, or some people may say that's a backward slash. That's a forward slash, that's a backward slash. Okay, and then divide that by five, 
28.2 or equals that divide by 6 right so it's changed the format of that equals that divide by 6 50 there we go so it's changed that that's because we've obviously done something in that cell which changed the format to look at the format you'd have to right click on it and then go to where's the format click on there go to format number just put number and there we go changes it back to 50 for some reason sometimes it can do that in spreadsheets if you change something it changes that cell assuming you want it to be done a certain way as you can see it's put two decimal places and that's got none you could also obviously get rid this is not part of this video but i'll do it whilst we're here you could just do automatic and hopefully that will go back to 50. there we go so that's how you uh, multiply okay or times in no that's divide we're doing now <laughs> i am sorry so divide equals that divide by six and it gives you 50 or again you could do equals 10 divide by two gives you five and again you can do that in a combination so you could do some So you're adding them up and then divide that by two gives you 10. So many different ways to calculate. So that's how to divide and how to use the sum function. We've, we've gone through that. It's just a different way. Most people, generally speaking, if you're just adding up a few numbers, you may feel it's easy just to go equals and then just quickly click on them and press your own button like that or it's best to try and get into using it this way because when you're working with larger numbers it's a better way of doing it okay so that's how you do that so we've also looked at how to use the sum function and because of all what we've looked at we've also looked at the different ways of calculating as well so I hope that video is really useful if it was please like the video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching